So we need to decentralize. We need to break it apart. It's one of the reasons why I am so bullish on crypto, on Bitcoin, because it is decentralized and not controllable. And let me give a fantastic example. So Justin Trudeau. said, I don't like me some truckers. So we're going to seize your assets. So then the court went to try to seize the crypto that was being given to the truckers. And I don't know how many of y'all saw a letter that I actually want to read from. It's a letter from a company, Bitcoin company called Nunchuck. Here's part of the letter. Dear Ontario Superior Superior Court of Justice, our software is free. We do not collect any user identification information beyond email addresses. We also do not hold any keys. Therefore, we cannot freeze our users' accounts. We cannot prevent them from being moved. We do not have the knowledge of, quote, the existence, nature, value, and location of our users' assets. This is by design. Please look up how self-custody and private keys work. When the Canadian dollar becomes worthless, We will be here to serve you, too. (laughs) That is spectacular. By the way, contrast that to the craven, sniveling response of corporate America when others, when some whiny snowflake tweets at them, like, oh, my God, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Like, God bless you saying to the government, go jump in a lake. That's how our country was founded. That is powerful. By the way, that is also why China recently banned Bitcoin. Because they can't control it, which is the exact same reason Elizabeth Warren hates Bitcoin. The Chinese communists and Elizabeth Warren, they both want to control you. Your assets, your savings, your speech, your life, your children, every decision they want to control. And so we need to break up the means of controlling the citizenry.